the advent of DNA has changed the criminal justice system. It's kind of surprising the small amount of DNA that is needed to obtain a result, like the cigarette butts, the drink straws, toothpicks, things like that, that in years past would have never been suitable to be tested, but now are tested routinely. Each case is different. You have some information about what happened in a case, but it's all about what that particular item of evidence has to show. What the goal is, is to remove a tiny bit of that sample of that stain and carry it forward for DNA analysis. You don't leave any stone unturned when you're analyzing that evidence. Being a little curious will keep you going forward when it uh, doesn't appear there's anything there. There have been instances of exonerating somebody that may be falsely accused and getting them you know, their freedom back. That is one of the main powers of, of DNA.